Hey guys, Luke from TVD CNC here. I just want to do a quick video showing you how to install your pan mount. Uh, in the package, you're going to have a hardware bag. In that bag, there's going to be three shims for setting knob. These are going to go behind the, the Z-axis, in between the Z-axis and the X carriage. And they're going to help you set the forward and backwards tram or knob of your spindle. Um, you're going to have three shorter screws, three washers, a longer screw, and an eccentric nut. You're going to take the shorter screws and the washers. You're going to put a washer on each screw. And then you're going to put the eccentric nut with the longer screw. You're going to take your tram mount and put it on your, your Z-axis and line it up fairly square and uh, in line with the holes. Then you're going to take the eccentric with the screw and you're going to do this one first. I'm not going to tighten any of these all the way. So that's still loose, but it's in there. Then we're going to move to this hole here. Tighten it up. Well, not tighten it. Just get it started. And then there's two holes on top. Same thing here. You're just going to get the screws in. All right, once you have all of these screws started in place, you're going to make sure that you're fairly square. If you're not square, you're going to take a 10 millimeter wrench and turn this eccentric nut. You can actually go ahead and kind of familiarize yourself with the adjustment system here before you get it mounted to your machine. But once I'm pretty comfortable with it square, we're going to tighten all of the screws doing the eccentric nut last. That's gonna make sure that it doesn't move on us. Just for safety's sake, I'm gonna hold that with the wrench, tighten that down. Now you're gonna take your spindle, slide it in place, and tighten up these two screws. And now you're good to go. Thanks for watching.